All right, so this is gonna be kind of a, a fake it till you make it style tutorial. One of the questions I get asked most often is how do I make my videos look like movies? And there is a lot that really goes into answering that, but one of the easiest things you can do is try and make things look more anamorphic. Now, that does breed the question, what does anamorphic mean? Well, anamorphic footage is created by compressing and re-expanding and it's a whole big process that basically leads to the ultra wide look we've come to associate with movies. That's why it's called Cinemascope. Now, true Cinemascope, true anamorphic footage has to be created using uh, special lenses, which are generally speaking cost prohibitive, or adapters, which are again, generally speaking, kind of hard to use. And so what we're gonna talk about is how to fake that look in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you could, of course, because like I said, this is sort of just the, the ultra wide look, you could just crop it 8% uh, on top and 8% on bottom. But honestly, for the true CinemaScope look, there's a little more that goes into it. So what we're gonna wanna do is actually adjust our sequence settings so that the, the file is the correct size. To do that, what you do is you go up to your sequence settings and you're gonna wanna change your aspect ratio from 1920 by 1080 to 1920 by 817 for HD or 3840 by 1634 for 4K. And yes, I do have that written on my hand because I couldn't remember it. Next thing you want to do is go down to the bottom down there and click that little new icon, create a new adjustment layer, take that adjustment layer and drag it on top of your footage and then stretch it out so it's the same length as your actual clip, okay? Then we're gonna go into the effects tab and we're gonna look for three effects. We're gonna look for lens distortion, transform, and VR chromatic aberrations. So first things first, lens distortion, take that, drag it on. Go back, find transform, take that, drag it on, and then go back to VR chromatic aberrations, take that and drag it on as well. Once you've got all those on your adjustment layer, let's go ahead and get them set. So for lens distortion, we want our curvature to be set to nine, our vertical decentering to be one, and that's gonna look really weird like this, right? So now we move to our transform effect, go ahead and set that to 110% for the aspect, That'll push us back to our full screen look and then come down to our VR chromatic aberrations and we're gonna set our red to negative one, our green to zero and our blue to positive one. Then just for fun, we're gonna go into the color tab and we're gonna add a vignette to this of negative 0.2. And there you have fake anamorphic or cinemascope footage. Now, again, you could just crop this, but look at the difference between cinemascope and crop. And now look at them side by side, one next to the other. As you can see, this one is just a little different. This is more of a traditional look, whereas this is just obviously cropped. Okay, so that's it. Cinemascope, anamorphic. Just remember that when you're shooting, shoot a little wider than normal because you are essentially gonna remove 16% of your image. And that is how you fake it, till you make it. <laughs> Keep shooting, friends.